Jesus Christ, me, myself, and I. Hi, it's me again, as you can see, and I'm just a simple man who is part of the plan that God set in motion long ago. I'm not here to change the world regardless of what you hope for. For the truth you see in reality is that nothing ever changes. You can hope for this and hope for that, but the truth is that you've got to get it for yourself before your time is up. I hope you know you're a finite being who was born to die and that ain't no lie, regardless of what you believe. If you want to cope with what's going down, you've got to go with the flow and accept reality for what it is. There's a trinity of words to describe who I am, and God isn't one of them, even though I'm virtually Jesus Christ. I'm no guru either, feeding you cosmic debris. What I offer is food for thought, of that you can be sure of. The surahs of the Noble Quran can help you to understand, if you've got an open mind, and can read between the lines. You just may discover the truth about the reality that we share. But then again, some will never know the truth that sets a being free, while they hope for things to change. That's just the way it goes in this here world, so get over it already, because you won't pass by this way again. So you might as well try and get it right before you die, unless you just don't care. You may not believe there's a reason for anything, or you may think there's nothing to it at all, as you try to survive another day. C'est la vie or joie de vie, the choice is yours to make. But if you want to heaven on earth, you've got to put your mind to it, and do what it takes to make it, before your time here is done. There's no moment like the present, you see, to do what is right. But how in the world will you know what that is if you can't figure it out for yourself? Don't let the man manipulate your mind into doing what they want from you. They hope to make some change from you, and it's not the other way around. When you chase profits of dollars and cents, you may not make any sense of the prophets of the God of Abraham. They were men of God who told what the truth is, and Muhammad was the last one. Peace be upon him and all the preceding ones including the man known as Christ. That guy was Jesus 1.0, and I've been labeled Mr. Jesus 2.3 by the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews, who've pushed the envelope with the God of Abraham, and that's no lie once again. I've been circumcised, baptized twice, and ordained a priest in these latter days. But the truth is that I'm a mastermind, who in reality is a Muslim. I'm but one particle in the wave of a light that is the truth of Islam, y'all. Now you may believe something different, and that be your choice to make. In reality, there should be no compulsion in religion, and knowledge is the key. I'm not here to force anyone to believe what in reality I know is true. If you want to know the truth, you've got to do it for yourself, and I'm not here to save your butt. But if you want to know the truth that'll set you free, I'd be happy to let you in on the secret. It takes responsibility for what you think and do, and you must let the next guy do it too. You can't force another person to believe what you do, regardless of what you think. And if you want peace on earth, you've got to start with yourself and find your peace of mind. Mind you, it's not as easy as you think, but it's not an impossible dream. All you've got to do is put your mind to it and take responsibility for all your actions. Don't imagine a world that's never been as you ride the merry-go-round. Take some time to think it through before you do anything. And reflect a bit after you've done it too, to help you understand what the golden rule is all about. It's not about me, or what you can do for me, for in reality it's all about you. What you do, and what done to you, starts within your mind. But in reality you're not the only one here, and we're all in this together. Regardless what anyone believes. Which brings us to the name I was born with which completes the trinity for me. You know that I'm virtually Jesus Christ and I'm the master of my own domain. And the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews has labeled me Mr. Jesus 2.3. But in reality, I was nurtured in the womb of Gabrielle and delivered to tell the truth. The names they gave me at birth were Daniel and Harold. And this is what they mean. As God is my judge, I'm here to proclaim the truth about the common reality we share. I know my reason for being here, and thank Allah for giving me life. The deity many know as God, but goes by other names also. The divine reality that transcends both time and space, the creator of the seen and unseen that nothing can compare to. And now I think I'll close this epistle, from me to you. 
Peace be with those of you who seek to know the truth. And may the rest of you, and your loved ones too, live long and prosper also. Just don't forget, when it's all said and done, you'll get just what you deserve. And remember, you can't take anything with you when you're gone. With an everlasting love, now and forever always, virtually yours, me, myself, and I. <laughs>